Hey everybody, what's up? Wonder Tweak here. Uh, today we're gonna be playing the Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. We were supposed to play this before we started the second episode of Life is Strange 2, but I didn't really. I I just kind of just like wanted to go by into the Life is Strange 2. So my little cousin's um, gameplay for Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit got transferred onto. Our game and now that I'm playing a new one I'm I don't know like what's gonna change like if it's gonna mess up our data and our game or something but I don't know we'll see um so yeah let's just get right into it captain spirit so um as as I could already tell this is kind of like our, a snow scene so I'm guessing this is happening close to our grandparents house so yeah, we'll see. Something's happening to where like the two games are looped with each other. All those birds in the back. And I don't know where to begin. Somewhere in the desert, and there's an awful forest and an acre before us. But I don't know where to begin. Does it sound like completely stopped? I don't know where to begin. Or is it just my headphones? to me. <laughs> what is this planet? I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Stuck. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. Uh oh. <laughs> Got another Daniel. Oh damn. Yay! Oh. Or not. I was like, oh my god, those two are gonna create Yay! chaos. Yuha! Woo! We're saved! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit. <laughs> he banned all matter to his will. Mm. I did it. I still got the power. I like it when kids are that age. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. And they're like so creative. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Mask. I hope this doesn't really have yep, like a huge cool so far. um. Let's see. Impact what on our armor? game. Light armor. I hope it doesn't have like a huge impact on our life is strange too. Oh, so cool. 
Should he be dark or colorful? Dark. <laughs> Creepy little sticky note. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Although I would do no cape, for sure. Just tights. <laughs> Aw, that was cute. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Yay, let's explore. Toys. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool! Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! <laughs> Why, Mantroid? Join our team. Mantroid is your boss now. Why did you join his team? The same reason you joined Captain Spirit's team. To win! Captain Spirit has helped the world over and over. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. <laughs> oh, my back. How? <laughs> Same. How did you do this? My back. I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him or destroy him? Release him. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge. For me! <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Mm-hmm. Chris, breakfast. K-R-B. Be right there. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team yes. will know what it means. Tattoos. Hold LT to see power actions when this icon is displayed. Cool. <laughs> if only it was that easy. I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Lame. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Chris, I need mean now. Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. My 
I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Chris, since you're going to be on your own, be your... Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, Super Mom. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> uh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Yeah. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. <laughs> I would too. Hmm. I wonder where he hit them. What kind of a Viking would I be? Dad said he was gonna fix that last month. <sighs> right. Chris, I mean now. Calm down, Dad. Jeez. Why are you so angry? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait. Uh -huh. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. What's all the fuss, Dad? Gosh. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. And I don't. Awkward. Dad, it is first thing in the morning. Why are you drinking? <sighs> What'd you expect? A waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the uh, eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. Well, I feel like you know if what? I said that, he would have been I'm gonna so watch angry. I'm going to shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, yeah, I'm not bringing that up. You're drinking. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? I have a feeling he's uh, going to be abusive or something. Big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today, I bet we win. Now, that's the fucking spirit. Jeez. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh... Arm I knew it. Okay. Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or, uh, say anything at all? Fuck that, I'm gonna make him feel bad about it. Well, it kinda hurts a little. Really? 
I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I, that, that you got hurt. Wow. It's not that bad, I'm fine. Okay, okay, won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year. Probably. Huh? Man, bag. Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. For you to stop drinking, fool. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. <sighs> Shit. I was bringing out the hard stuff. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? I feel like I should wash the dishes because I know my dad's not going to do it, but he's an adult and I feel like he should do the dishes. <sighs> Screw it, he ain't going to do it. Shit. Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Whoops. Awesome things to do. I can make a Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Okay. Maybe I could cook something for Dad. He cook something his own damn self. Drink up. I've never seen a beaver around here. Around here. <laughs> it just makes me mad because, like, it's uh pretty close to how my dad was. Like, he would promise me things and then, like, say he's gonna do something and then never does it because he falls asleep. Score. But my dad was never abusive like that. Poor kid. Yeah, ice cream. <laughs> Let's see. What do we need? Boring. S uh, local police face more protest and shooting death small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer 
An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to the public protest and rioting. God damn, you're on fire. Go to sleep, Dad. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. <laughs> Just doing chores. I'm supposed to be finding my superhero thing. I hope I set this right. Come on. Don't be afraid. Go in there and turn on the heat. But first, put on your magic cape. Okay, so I need to find my cape. Oh, that's nice, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Whatever. Just don't ask for a raise. Fucker. There's my hot dog man. Join the revolution. Want to play the hot dog man? Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys and wind every month. Cool. I can't see dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. Our 10 week course will give you everything you need to start selling homes and making dreams come true. Lisa Avina is the number one real estate agent in the Northwest featured on NPR and voted best realtor 2015. Get started today. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Hero best Con. dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all the employees. Recently, our Beaver Creek field officers have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation about the Northwest, so please do not learn, please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead of, instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, contact me by email or during office hours. Thank you, Mike Stevenson. Oh, those are dad's pages. Boring. Letter. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we let me see read. How much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. This includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love and the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard that your friend we also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut the, to the chase, we want to help. So we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, as long as you need to consider joining the support group. Yeah. Well, at least he has that kind of help, though. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Goal. <laughs> I just thought it'd be goal because he likes basketball or something. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. It's always hard to say how he's gonna react. Maybe before he starts drinking too much, he'll be okay with it. Headshot! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! <laughs> you can't kill the zombie jock! No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. It seems like he's a good dad. 
just he gets angry. Hmm. Let's check this out. Cities of the pain. Fifty. Fifty cities of the pain. They should rearrange that title. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. Mark Jefferson, oh my god. Look at his cover art too. If you guys haven't already seen, that's like the, the creepy professor from The First Life is Strange. And if you haven't seen it, I would recommend going back to watch it. It's intense, that game. That game is pretty gross. The guy Mark Jefferson usually goes. Um, use. I'm supposed to be finding my cape. Jeez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater's sleeping again. Water eater? Okay, wait, hold on. Um, I can't make Captain Spirit's new costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I can practice my targeting skills on dangerous beer cans. Looks like some Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. I beat Mantroid. I bet Mantroid is still hiding on this planet with my field costume. I could just be shit. My superhero team is strong, but I keep better eyes on the Mantroid and supervillains. I could play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dodd's phone. I can't let the water eater defeat me this time. Okay. I wonder when I can start to shave. Uh, Superhero shave? How old is he? I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. Man. Wish I could draw like this. <laughs> um, his little face is so cute on the second page and the third block. That's weird. <laughs> No diving today, Nemo. On fire all night. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No one will guess my secret identity now. Nice. Damn, you're on fire. Okay. That's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Welcome to WHERO. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroy? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? Hmm. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Hmm. Shoot. His mom left him, but she seems really supportive. His dad is an alcoholic. 
but he still seems like he's a good dad and still supportive, no matter if he beats him or not. But I'm gonna say me. It's really hard. It's a hard choice. The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Okay. Maybe our cape will be in our room somewhere. Maybe in our drawers. Hey, can you get that? Where is it? Chris, answer the phone, please. Calm down. I thought it was this phone. Where is the phone? Oh, there it is. Hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Hmm. Back to looking for my cape. There it is. Cool. Now I can go to the heater or I whatever. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! Jeez. One more piece and I'm almost done. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Mask. Oh, gloves or something. Comic books, walkie talkie. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, shit, my bad. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with dad again this summer. There's like a, like, a theme of like missing parents on here or parents dying. Oh shit. Light on. Yes! I'm too old to be measured now, right? Careful of booby traps. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you so sad when you're making me so happy. 
I still wanted to meet your son and I just, and I get the feeling that you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you. I'm in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together. So I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Wow, oh, had I been to play high school? Okay, dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and I want to play pro basketball. One day my parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court and the last time I was the best I've ever seen. I hope you are drafted in the NBA team. Thank you and see you at your next game, Todd Hamill. So I wonder what happened to his dad to where he's not playing no more is it like did he get injured or is it just like his alcohol got too Dad bad used to always talk about this basketball oh my god dad actually got me the new play box no way cool <laughs> is that it Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. He's got a Pink Floyd album in there. <laughs> Two sons, it said. I love listening to mom's old records. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. No, I'm not gonna steal one. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. His gloves. Yes. Nice. This will totally protect me from Mandroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Dad was so angry at the police. Dear Captain Leaves, since you have met, have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about the case that you and the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope you hear back soon or you will be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles Erickson. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate what you have done, gone through the past years, I'm afraid that I have exhausted all my resources. In regards to this difficult investigation, if you wish to discuss the matter without other angry message, I always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for a month's work. Sincerely, my Collins. I think I missed something. Dad was so... Jeez. We regret to inform you that the street surveillance is not available for Astro Drive in the Montel Street nor in the general public unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation, so we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local or your law enforcement will assist you, assist you further. Okay. They get into an accident? Maybe got into an accident or something, or got jumped, and that's probably why he doesn't play basketball. Hmm. 
Okay, I think we have everything from in here. I've never seen Dad get that mad. Shit. It really scares me. Okay. Oh man, she loved this song. I haven't Go listened to, to it since for a long time. Jeez. Careful. I think I'm not alone. Oh my goodness. That was cool and scary. Yes. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Hey, Dad, the water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow, you put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. You think? So why'd you make me do it, you douchebag? Okay, got that, that. I need to find the code to dad's phone. Um, then the chest. Buried around here somewhere. So I'm trying to get the password to the phone before anything else. Ah, uh, I'm sore from my workouts. Goodbye, log. Never burn. Burn. I don't have time to sit with him. I don't want to sit with him. I don't want to get to know dad. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Dad was so popular. What's that, 10 years ago? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Pizza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. I need to find his password. Uh... Dad. Dad. Yes, yes, dad. come on. Hey, Dad. 
Chris, I know what yeah. you're doing. Stop. Hello. <laughs> hey, Dad. The trees are waiting. It can wait, Chris. I mean it. Fucking mad boy. Um, you need your password you to your phone. Look. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Damn it. They dropped this guy and not me. Hmm. I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. I can run circles around that guy. I'm not gonna touch it. He's gonna get pissed off. I need that number though. What do I do? What do I do? Grocery yes, hell of a dog. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hi. Suck, boo. How, how stupid are you? How can you not score here? I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Wow, that's scary. It's how alcohol drinking your life away. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. I record sure you have missed the third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurance. While we understand and sympathize every homeowner's situation, our office feels we have been more than fair granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on our property. We hope to resolve this issue soon. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Although our facility respects your legacy, legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior and with this recent incident involving beer cans and the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for the situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources of alcohol-related issues and help you find future success. Yeah, so he was fired for alcohol. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Okay. I thought maybe something would have been in there, but it's not. Mm. I've never seen oh, shoot. Dad get that mad. It really scares me. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. Maybe his I password so, to his phone's in his, his truck or something. Maybe that's why we need to go like outside. Ugh, I 
hate that beer can smell. Come on, I got money on this. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. <laughs> Boom. <gasps> ah, yes. Pow. Boom. Blam. Recycle that. Am I supposed to play with my toys too? I think all the toys that says play with them and it adds to that drawing. Told you I was gonna go to sleep. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Pedestrian better get out of the way. <laughs> that was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Did that do anything? Yeah, it did. Okay. I already played with those ones. Bag. Look. Playtime all the time. Yeah, I don't know where any more toys are. I'm going back outside. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> let's go to our tree house. Oh no, let's go over here first. Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? <laughs> Little cigarette buds for the hair. <laughs> now the snowmancer is ready for battle. Okay. There's more toys. I knew there would be more toys somewhere. <laughs> Open sesame. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. What do you cook to me in my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish, pizza, a happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. Secret decoder. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Mr. Erickson, I, I wanted to let this. you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with his son, with my son. Harry sober from his friends after school this week. Chris claimed that they were singing inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated boy scout. Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I'll be forced to speak to his school. Yeah. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. Getting a DMPE. You are a little kid, dude. You should be active. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. <laughs> Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work.
I like that changed anything. Okay. This was harder than I thought it would be. Whole bowl. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. Has a lighter up here. His little theme song. Shit scared me. What made that noise? Shit. Is it two thousand thirteen? Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Pilgrim type of theme <laughs> or South Park the fractured butthole yes it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue that game's cool and too and it's time to visit Mantroid's home this is where mom went to school before we came here um dear Mrs. Emily Erickson I as principal of Blackwell Academy I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of your alumni. We have found memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us and hope you come visit our campus to see your contributions. I'm going to go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Congratulations. Truly happy for your family. Good illustrations. Oh, wow. I remember when mom drew that, and dad couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. <laughs> mom and dad always talked about how they met at school. 
They have a judge, two books by those covers as the model of the odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print in the web. Even at the pages of this paper, she hasn't. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who says he is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they've met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for the torturous finals. I'm math and she's art. She's shy, blushing. Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, <laughs> but fun. My first picture Aww. looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. I'm trying to see if there's like any dates on any of these. This is where mom went to school. Mom didn't go to art school because of me. 2006. I don't get this one. I'm too young. 2011. There's like a mouse or a raccoon or something in here. Dad never threw away mom's hiking boots. Good. You <sighs> do you hear it? I can't go anywhere without the keys. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Extra bonus points unlocked. <laughs> so now I need the keys to the truck. <sighs> Is he passed out yet? I'm not waking him up. Oh, there's a car keys. Okay, time to go back outside. Is there anything in these coats? Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Uh, social services are receptive of the metro school districts. We would appreciate if you would agree to come in with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting Monday afternoon, 2.15 at our local office. 
2775 Walter Shaving Office Social Service. Oh shit. Here I come, man, Troid. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit. You copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure oh you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything Please don't tell me good. I'm actually gonna drive. Start the launch. Oh God. Oh. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency. SOS. Crash landing. Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! Sweet. <laughs> the planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder man Troyd lives here. How could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming, or somebody. Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward! That's scary. You're too weak to fight me, Captain Idiot. This time, you won't get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid. 
I swear. There's a lot happening. Phone. Treasure. I don't understand how we didn't destroy this, the snowman. Maybe is there something on the license plate? Nope. Looks like we had a visitor. I've never seen a beaver around here. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Two thousand five. Maybe that's the code to his phone. Did I try that already? Oh. Dad was so popular. Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. There's my hot. I can't see dad selling a home. Whoa, it, that would be a blast being a freight hop. Oh, those are dad's pages. So what am I supposed to put that file on? Maybe something in my room. Map. Oh, here. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Hmm. 
I have to place it right. One. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. So it's by the rocks. There's a big pile of rocks somewhere. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. <laughs> is there a way I could have taken that map? The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. Let me take a picture of it. Looks like it's supposed to be like opening up rocks on the side or something. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, dad will love that I want basketball lessons. I have a theory. Maybe the code combination here is 2005. Yes. There you go. Take. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely non flowers for Kristen's birthday. They always mean more coming from you. We miss you and would love to see Chris how Chris is growing. Um like you, we also still miss Emily every day, every hour and a minute. And we know that grief is 
grief is part of your life so always know that we think of you often we're always here for you like you are there for us forever always please stay in touch and let's make plans to meet soon your family and always in our hearts and prayers love peter I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. Local woman oh. killed in hit and run. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16, 2004 at 7.15 p.m. Tuesday night at Mantle Street in Astro Drive. The victim, identified as at Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking from her stranded car when she was struck head-on by... An identified speeding vehicle. She is survived by a husband and son who were not on the scene at the time. Captain Anderson says that his toll cameras may hold important clues for treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Anybody with information regarding the incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police Hotline. Jeez. Beloved wife, mother, daughter departed our worlds far too soon. December 16, 2014, in Beaver Creek, Oregon. Emily was born in Eugene, Oregon, January 25th, 1986, to Peter and Kristen Wyatt, a passionate artist since kindergarten. She was near the top of her class at Eugene High School, winning various local art competitions and a prize scholarship to the prestigious Blackwell Academy. And, oh, shit. Okay. Emily Erickson. It doesn't ring a bell, though. After graduation, she went back to Eugene and married her college sweetheart, Charles Harrison, on May 1st, 2006. Emily and Charles moved to Beaver Creek, Oregon in 2007, where she later began her world career teaching kindergarten and inspirations young people in arts. Emily and Charles were also blessed with a wonderful son, Chris, born on February 8, 2007, Emily's honest and humorous online comic strips about her family life brought her humble recognition. She is survived by her husband, Chris, their son of oh, Charles, their son, Chris, and her parents, Peter and Kristen. Funeral services are planned 12 p.m. December 20th at Eugene. Huh. So, I guess the mom didn't leave. She she died. <sighs> that was a lot to look at. I hear you, wherever you are. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so cool! No man's fear almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. Yeah. Treasure chest and hot dog yeah. bone. Okay, hold on. Let me see, I take a picture of this. Flying fortress is a tree.
Okay, so that is the monster. Dad won't fix this one because it's too dangerous to fix. There's something up in those trees. I see. Go left. Go left. Wait. One is go left. Then two is go right. Then three is go left. Then four go left. Oh shit. But there's arrows on the floor. See, I wasn't- I wasn't not gonna about to follow the arrows. That's why I took a picture of this. I forgive you, mother. I can hear you. I like this song. Mom was so pretty. I miss Mom's smile. I saw the truck keys. I have a feeling like the truck keys. I mean, I have a feeling like the passcode is in the truck somewhere. I wonder if Dad will teach me how to drive. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me.
one one four. No. <sighs> When was Chris born? Maybe it's Chris's birth date or something. I have one more thing and then I can wake him up. Is it like 2000? Three or something? No. I've never seen Dad get that mad. 2008? It really scares me. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. Let me go back in the shed and see. Maybe it's Chris's birthday. <laughs> Could be 2014. Or 12, 16. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish. This is where I'm. Oh, I don't get this one. I'm too young. <laughs> Mom and Dad, it was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. So I tried 2005. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. I was hoping that his, Maybe I'm an alien his baby. birthday would be on here, but I guess not. Shoots. Okay, let's try these two more passwords. If not, then I'll just wake up dad. First, we'll try 2014. Um, twelve sixteen. Shit, what can it be? Maybe is it Chris? What's his wife's name? Emily? M-I-L-Y What can it be? Holy crap. Now I know it could be more than one. I mean, four. Let me try the whole thing. 12, 16. Two thousand fourteen, twelve, sixteen, two thousand fourteen. Twelve, 
What the hell? Oh. I'm gonna wake up dad now. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh, uh, dad! Shit. Are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh, it's clear. Yeah, I knew they were, like, next door to our grandma. Oh, my. Look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... Just... Just? Just... You know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Mm. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Oh. <laughs> uh. This is so hard because I would not tell people that my dad fell over like that. But we didn't hear anything. That's kind of dumb to say because we were like messing with firecrackers in the backyard. And as far as decorating a tree, we don't even have a tree. So <sighs> oh, shoot. Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. 
you kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh yeah, me and my dad are gonna go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. I think her name and is Claire. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Damn. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I did. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. Just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Damn, I should have told Claire about him. Fucker. So he's a super- he does have a superpower then, like Daniel. Cool. Chaos. We create chaos together. Okay, that was hella cute. I liked it. It took us a while, like an hour, 15 minutes, almost two hours to beat that like little scene. I really liked it though, like it was, it was super cute. Oh, the only one that we didn't get to unlock was our dad's phone, which sucked. We got everything else, which is awesome. Mm. 
Okay, so now the next episode that we play for Life is Strange 2, I'm guessing we're going to see Chris. Which is cool. Yay, we finally beat it. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be like nice and happy and cheerful and... Although it, it somewhat was, it was just like the story behind it was super deep hit home again, like all the Life is Strange stories seem to do. No choices? Oh, okay. Wheel! Um, shoot, I keep hitting this. I hope you guys liked the um, awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And... Make sure you're following into my next video, which is going to be the part two of Life is Strange episode two. And yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Oh, oh, my arms are sore. I can hardly bend them in a certain way.